So first party that I think would be pretty decent to attend and to check out will be, in my humble opinion, night service. Night service, night service, night service, night sir fucking this. Big up my guys, Bally Ibs and Page, one of the best fucking DJ duos and couples in the scene. They do one of the best parties here in London at the moment called Night Service. They do them mostly in fold, if I'm not mistaken. And in this particular one, they have fucking Kelza playing, someone called Bu Didder and Isaiah and Debbie also on the lineup. So it should be a good one. It's an extended um, fold. So it's running a little bit past six. Usually fold events close. I mean, usually regular fold nights end at 6 a.m. But this particular one starts at 11 p.m. on Friday the 9th of August and runs all the way until 8 in the morning, which is really rare in London. Not a lot of nightclubs or spaces in general that are open that late at night. So I really recommend you check it out, especially this particular night service because Quelza, who i've been always fascinated to check out and to see play because there's so many people especially on the Berghain community subreddit who absolutely glaze this guy they are on two knees fucking twisting and sucking forward and back talking about how amazing he is and how his sets are almost like a composition and like a soundtrack and that he's like a real um phenom in like the same lane of like a Rene wise and that he's way mature and way more polished and finished than, than his age and he's way mature and his musical choices and just they just talk about his dj sets in a really glowy and very euphoric and very kind of reverential way and i've never seen him play but I don't want to listen to his sets. I want to see and feel and hear what people see and feel and hear when they see him play in person. Because I feel like even though DJ sets do a good job of kind of, you know, displaying and showcasing what you're about, really what you're about is only really when you actually play out and people actually get to see you. So I'm really curious to see what all the hype is about when it comes to Kelza. I really am curious. This is going to be his warm up to his set at Bergheim. I'm not sure if he's closing or not, but he's playing again on Bergheim, I think tomorrow or no, the next day. So this will be a good opportunity to see him play because most likely you'd imagine he's probably going to try some things out. Maybe, um, maybe he's going to be one of those people that's going to be like, no, it's completely fresh shit. What player folds, not going to play at Bergheim. Regardless, I'm really curious to see what he's going to be playing. The other people on the lineup, I don't really know too well. I don't really know who Bo did it, Bo Didier is, or and Isaiah, but I'm assuming these are people who are linked with the Frenzy, which I guess is a collective out of Netherlands. There's a person called Debbie, and of course the founders of the night, Bally, Ibs, and Paige. Um, so this is the blurb here courtesy of RA this says we're back for an extended summer special by special we mean a very special edition in collaboration with Amsterdam based label party and collective frenzy inviting them into our home afford by the way I really need to go to Amsterdam I really need to go to Amsterdam people keep saying to me that Amsterdam's a place to be it's now the new Berlin it's got a fucking it's always been a really uh, great place to go um, especially if you're if you're like interested in techno tourism like I am but I've never actually made the effort to go mainly because I have this really infantile dumb retarded idea that everything in Netherlands just revolves around weed which obviously isn't the case and I don't really care for smoking that much but I know there's more to a city than that and I really want to go check it out because allegedly the scene there I've heard from some people is way more welcoming and chill actually than Berlin people say and I find Berlin quite chill and interesting and, and welcoming I find it to be one of the best places to actually go out and rave solo um, you can always find some friends and kind of tag along with groups and stuff and find yourself at afters even if you go out on your own but allegedly Amsterdam is actually better so I actually need to make an effort to go there because a lot of great people are coming out there and what I like about Amsterdam from what I've been seeing looking from the outside in they have a really burgeoning scene of like nights that aren't really centered around like big DJs it's all about promoting like their friends and shit but then that stuff also leads to their friends becoming like world-renowned DJs and shit so I like that kind of like grassroots underground local type of shit that's going on there and then that is actually impacting the overground it's not just like an underground thing it's actually going to all the you know a lot of the major club nights in london are kind of teaming up with all these like amsterdam based collectives and shit and nights so i really need to see what the vibe is for myself over there but big up um, night service for as well what they're doing great is that for someone like myself that doesn't have much experience about raving in amsterdam i get a taste of what their vibe is about by them going out and booking these people who i'm assuming they have personal relationships with professional relationships with inviting them to fold one of our best clubs in london and i get to kind of see and feel what it's about and of course me myself and others will be like oh shit now we're peaked now we want to go see these people play was it a uh, bu uh, bu um diddler bu diddler bu diddler 
which is a wild name by the way calling yourself diddler is fucking insane back to back with Isaiah, so i'm curious to see what they're like but it continues here says frenzy has been presenting a modern day sound with roots in old school throwing parties in nl beyond for the five past years with radion quickly becoming their home base this summer um they join us to take on fold at the main room actually i'm actually that's radion as well. that's one of the be- that's one of the better clubs over there as well by the way i've allegedly read online it says we invite none other than Berkheim resident Quelza hailing from oh he's a, he's a he's actually officially a resident i didn't know that hmm huh. Okay, um, hailing from um Parisian suburbs, Kelza um champions layer techno wears that pack a punch, carving out a truly distinctive shape shifting signature, switching scopes and angles as he ups the rhythmic um pressure with every set. A uh, frenzy residents, Bu Diddler and Isaiah rep- represent NL. Disclosing B two B is not to be missed. What better way to send a sun sunny morning than on the dance floor with the power duo? Debbie is no stranger to fold as well. We've been dying to have this member of our community play at our party. It's better diverse, extensive catalog of blendy, moody, sexy, euphoric sounds and a hint of nostalgia for your listening pleasure for one of this page joint forces behind the decks once again. So yeah, really, really curious to go see what it's going to be about. So I'm assuming, as they said, this Bu Diddler is playing. Um, they're going to end. They're going to be the one ending the night. Uh, closing set. I'm assuming Kel is going to have a peak set. I don't know. So I'm assuming maybe two to four maybe it could be who knows either way i'll probably be there for the start anyway so if you're around in london and you want to check it out i definitely recommend you check it out i'm actually curious let me see i want you they're actually curious to see what the what this bu diddler or bu didier not diddler i keep mixing up it's bu didia bu didia let's see what their soundcloud sounds because i'm curious to see what the vibe is of bu didia so i can maybe have an idea on what type of sound i'm going to expect to hear there because kels and everybody else i kind of want to see without you know doing any research i want to just see them when i go there but i'm curious to see what this bu didier is about so let's see what bu didier is about um let's scroll down should we play something from the fucking from their set yeah let's play this next round ep let's play one of these tracks and see what the sound is coming from bu didier next round ep let's see what one question why is it that every time i'm walking down the street some asshole wants to stop me just to give me a flyer. Come on, man. Fuck that. Get the fuck out of my way. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Didier makes diddler music. I like the diddler music. You know what I mean? Diddler music. Your hands are going everywhere. You know what I mean? <laughs> he start to touch people you don't know. He makes good diddler music. I like. I like Bo Didier. Uh, was it? Uh, big up Peter. It's pronounced Bo. Okay, Bo Didier. Bo Didier. Big up Bo Didier. I actually like the sound of Bo Didier. Bo Didier sounds kind of hard. I'm not gonna lie. No pun intended, by the way, with the hard. So Bo Didier is coming hard. Big up Bo Didier um let's actually see the last person here before i move on the last person on the list i want to check out here is the person that bo didia is going back to back with because i know what bally ibs and pedro about they're fucking sick djs i'm a big fan of them anyway they always fucking crush it but i'm curious to see the other people who i'm not really too familiar with let's see isaiah let's see what vibe isaiah who's also part of frenzy i'm assuming and a colleague of bo didier is about what's isaiah about let's check out their soundcloud what is isaiah all about what's isaiah all about let's check out what isaiah is all about and then we can move on and then we can move on of course if you're liking what you're seeing you're seeing what you like make sure you smash the the fucking like button down below don't be lame don't be stingy don't be lame don't be stingy cool so let's see what bo didier is saying so we've got this track from 28 days ago let's play this one this maybe will give us a better example of what they're about the track is called love and devotion let's see what isaiah is also part of right let's see what isaiah's vibe is all about isaiah love and devotion let's freaking go
yeah, 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 I'm there, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. You don't need to tell me more. You don't need to tell me more. I'm there, I'm there, I'm gassed, I'm on it, I'm hyped. Let's fucking go. Night service this Friday, fold. You know what, one. You know the fucking vibe. If you see me in a corner somewhere sweating profusely, don't ask me if I'm okay. <laughs> I'm probably not. <laughs> Just wait from afar. <laughs> <laughs> just way from afar just way from afar tickets are still available now third release tickets don't delay jump on it right now like i said one of the better parties in london and definitely a very very interesting eclectic lineup to check out extended hours too so it should be a fucking fun one and a rare opportunity to see Kelza play who's actually brimming and bustling and hyped up in the scene right now and everybody's a big fan of and i can't wait to see if the hype is justified i hope it will be i think it will be I, there's too many people out there sucking him off it must be partly true that he's absolutely amazing i want to see it with my fresh eyes and ears can't wait to be kelzed i can't wait to be kelzed big up night service big up blood clark night service moving on from night service moving on from night service we have to also mention this. This is pretty fucking epic. This is pretty fucking epic. Big up Adonis. So I didn't have the greatest time when I went to Adonis the first time. The first and only time. But I also didn't go there with the best attitude. I don't feel like I went there maybe with a little bit of a entitlement and maybe a little bit of attitude and pretty pretty boo. But regardless, it is one of the premier queer lgbtq gay i guess forward nights in london and they've teamed up when a legendary 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 berlin night called cocktail d'amour one of the premier one of the most amazing parties i've ever been to in my life probably one of the first parties i actually went to when i went to berlin for the first couple of years there when they used to originally host it at the original grease muller and cocktail d'amour has got a, like a you know a legendary almost mythic represent rep, reputation within the dance music scene within djs that it played within the vibe of the party daniel wang actually famously wrote a really amazing flipping um article about how amazing flipping cocktail d'amour is um courtesy of electronic beats that i'm sure some of you guys have read and know all about it's a fucking amazing kind of essay um event report that i remember reading when i was first sort of like getting my feet wet in the techno tourism thing and going out there and partying and traveling the world and shit in the fucking in in pursuit of techno beats and everything else in between even though i think cocktail d'amour is mostly house and disco and stuff it's not really solely a techno thing it is one of the best parties out there so i really recommend you check it out well they're actually doing a party in collaboration with adonis so adonis and cocktail d'amour are linking up for a very rare very rare very rare party happening on the 25th which is at the end of the month i think that's around when not new carnival is on courtesy of the courtesy of the adonis instagram page which is adonis dot adonis dot adonis on instagram it says two legendary divas um amalgamated cocktail um the adonis take a sip sunday 25th of august 11 p.m till morning venue mot and avalon cafe bermondsey no pre-sale door only so this should be a absolute barnstormer because i think that i don't think i'm not sure if that is bank holiday weekend it might be august the 25th i'm not too sure i think that's usually when carnival is i'm not sure if that is counts as bank holiday weekend yeah i think that is bank holiday weekend if, i think it is so that should be an absolute barnstormer um venue mot as well as one of our best night ven well, nightclub venues in london apart from fold I guess Venue MOT will probably be one of my favourites. And another one will probably follow will be The Yard in East London and obviously Colour Factory. I think those four are probably the best ones. I think the rest of them are pretty shit for the most part. But Venue MOT with Adonis, with Cotter the Amor crowd is going to be fucking barn summer. The lineup is probably going to be stacked as well. They're probably going to fly over a few of their people to come and play. And obviously, they're going to have the residents they usually have at Adonis and anybody else who's probably guesting. So I'm curious to see what the lineup is actually going to be going forward. But no idea on the lineup, no fucking, you know, inclination might be maybe closer to the actual date of the event. But I'm looking forward to it. So two really good events happening in London um, hopefully soon night service obviously this friday and adonis happening in a couple of weeks so keep your eyes peeled if you like that kind of stuff keep your eyes peeled if you like that kind of stuff <laughs> 